where we stopped yesterday. Now what is left is for us to add our buttons. So let's go back to our code. Now if you look at what we have, we have two buttons, one a link, then this one is a normal button. The link is saying buy now, which takes you to the purchase screen. Why buy uh, the other one is a add to cart, which add the product to cart. So we are going to create both of them. So we call them um, cons buy now equals document. Remember, you create elements, and we are creating a link element. A tag. Okay. Now the class, the href. We update this later. Does the href is equals hash? We'll update it later. So the appropriate href. Let's say to something like. Um, something like uh, slash other slash slash then we have the product id uh, the, what do we, what is the product? Yeah, product I uh, dot ID. So this is what we what the link should be. Now after the head drive, we have a class. We have classes that we need to add to it, the class list. And our class list is BTN, BTN Danger, BTN, BTN Danger. Then we also have MR2. Now the content is our inner test <clears throat> our inner test is equals by now okay now that is it about this one so we now then create the button But in which comes add to cart sequence document dot create element the creating button now so add to cart now we are going to add the class class list BTM, BTM primary. So we add the next function, the next, uh, okay, it has another class, MLG2. I didn't take note of this class, MLG2. Then add to cut dot 
in a HTML. You can also use in a HTML. That's not a problem. Or else we have to use in a so I'm just write add a string. Now this one is add to cart. Now there is an event. We need to add an event listener so that when they click on this button, we know what it's doing. So we do add event listener. Now we are adding the click event. Okay, so this is what we have. Anytime they click it, let's just alert, alert. Uh, this guy is just joining now. Okay, so let's go back again. Now we just want to alert the name of the product. So what I want is products, products, then I dot uh, product name. I just want to alert it when you click on it. Now what is left for us now, you know, the one for the HREF, uh, for the link because we are linking to a page which we will create later. We don't need to add um, um, any other thing for the buy now. We don't need to add all those things. But if there is need, we'll make adjustment to our code here. Also, this one at a card, when we get to the point, we'll also make adjustment to our code. Here. Just want to get through with this stage. Now, the next thing we have to do is to add both of them to our card content. Now, if you look at our code here, they are inside a card body. Both of them are inside a card body. So we need to append them, add them to the card body. So what we do here is a card body dot append. The first one is um, a buy now. Okay. Then we also append the add to cart. All right. So let's look at our code again at our screen again as it refreshes here yeah. you see we've, we've gotten our two buttons on the screen if we click on this it's taking us to a new link which is not defined yeah, it doesn't exist uh, in the project yet but if we click on this you see what we are seeing the name of the product is being alerted to us which is that alert we added there if you click on this one you see the dns name samsung galaxy fold yeah we've gotten our list then what we also need to do is that this card body should be clickable you can click on this to move to the product detail page which we are going to create next okay so i think i am missing something instead of id i think we didn't write code that will transform our product data to id so it's still underscore id let me just confirm what we have in the product data yeah, we have underscore ID, not ID. So I need to change the code where I'm having ID here to underscore ID. All right. So for this add to cart, I, what we need to do here is to say cart dot push. Cart dot push. It's an array. So we are pushing this particular product. Which is a product i so this card have not been created so we're going to create it outside this function so because the card equals i just card is equals an empty array all right so what we do to show confirm that we have this working i will not need to lock cart i 
Okay, so let's look at here and come up, look at what we are doing. Now I click on Add to Cart. We have it here. Then after the alert, we see we now have the list of our cart, which is one item. We click on iPhone 13. You can see our phone, iPhone 13 is in cart now. Yeah, our phone 13 is in cart. We have implemented the cart. What we need to do now is to update this cart uh, with um, to be counting. You no, know, main that is one item. We display the list there. We'll do that as we progress. So we've just implemented AutoCAD from there. You have any question at this moment? So I can delete uh, the whole of this. I have, I, have, I have a question, sir. All right, you can ask. Uh, uh, this, um, uh, you know, there are some places I don't understand because I don't know what I'm joining. This place that you add, that you use add to cut is it that the name of the name of that um, the particular cut is add to cut? This place you say add to okay like binary dot class class list. Creating a button. Look at add to cons add to cut equals document dot create element button. That is a button. I'm creating a button that will add to our screen. Then for the by now, I'm creating a link. Look at it, by now is a link, an anchor tag, document or create element. When you look at our screen, we have two buttons in our products. Any product, every product have these two things, by now and out of So we need to create this. Now you remember, we are no longer building our page from HTML. We are building it now from JavaScript. I guess you, you can pick that. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. so. All the HTML code I have, you have removed them. We are now building our page based on the data coming from our back end using JavaScript. Now, in this function, you see, remember that we are fetching the data from our back end here using this. Then when the data comes, we then begin to build our product card one after the other. That is when we now look on the product and each of the product item, we then create all the card related uh, components that we add to the card. And that is how we come about creating the parent card, the card holding everything from here. And then we added this image. This is supposed to be the image of the product. We'll get this sorted out in the future. Then we'll have the name of the product and the description. You remember that our product, we didn't add description. That is why we have this dummy description. So we'll go back to our backend and make the adjustment to have description of product, which is very compulsory. And then each product will have their own unique description based on the person that is up uploading it. So we added these two buttons today. This is just what we have added today and their functionality. So if I click on buy now, it's taking us to order slash the ID of the product so that the person can buy it immediately. We are going to create this page now. So for us to do this, remember uh, we have a problem like this. We might have a problem. This is not um, uh, going to work just like this. What we are going to do is um, what we want to do, we should do that will be easy for us is uh, where is the card? Add to card. Yeah, yeah by now. So this is what we are going to do slash order.html. Then we have ID is so we are going to create the order. Order the HTML. So we have it order the HTML. Yeah. So here we just have uh, let's scaffold the HTML page and then call this one with the math. Order. And in the body, we say another page for now. Okay, so now let's go back again and try what we want, what we were doing. Go back here and then we click a buy now.
not finish of uh, reloading. Let's click again. This haven't updated what? Let's look at the JS again. Okay, it has updated now. So you can see only by putting your cursor here, you see that it's, this, it's showing the link where we are going. So let's click on one. Yes, it's saying, um, I think uh, it's in pages. Yeah, I missed, uh, we have to find it. It's in pages slash order. So we go back again, we keep adjusting. Just like we have it in uh, slash front end slash pages slash index. That is exactly how it should be. So let's pick up this and uh, adjust our code. Okay, this is what is uh, where we can find this. So let's try it again now. Yeah, you see now we have our our other page. You know, and if you look at it here, we have other page with the math order. So from here now we can display different information relating to the order. We can do the uh, activities that are relating to the order. We've created a second page now and able to link it from our, our product page. So that is something as what we can do at this point. We are done with building our card, but then I said we need to um, make our card click apple. Then that can lead to a different problem, which we need to solve also. And um, we'll do that on the card div. So let's come here. The card div dot add event listener. And then we say click event. Add EVT here for event. We say EVT dot stop immediate propagation. This one, we make sure that we will see if we don't have this, we will not be able to click the two buttons on that again. So what we need now is um, we want to go to the detail page. So what we do here is to navigate to the detail page now. So we we'll say we can just use the window location or something to load. And then say it's equals. So front end slash pages slash pages dot html, and then id product id is equals product and then underscore id so let's try this uh, i need to create the detail page and let's go fold it again and we change this to the amount product detail. 
So we still have uh, product detail here. Okay. So what we'll do now, we'll go to the barcode again our screen and check if uh, in the implementation is okay. Like we're having an error. Let's investigate what is wrong in our code. In line 14 of our product JS, let's look at what is there. Okay. It's been a while I used this, so I think um, I don't know if it's supposed to be a function. Okay. So let's look at it again. Do we still have an error? Nine fourteen. Oh, 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 this way I have a problem. Should be something like this. The airport should be inside here. All right. So we are concatenating both of them. Okay, we have it. So you look at the area I'm clicking now. This, uh, the card body, and I click, is taking us to a product detail page. But then if I come here and I click on buy now, it's taking us to other page. You see, we are able to move to different pages by clicking different area of our card. If I remove the event of stop propagation here, we might probably have an issue with clicking the other areas of our card. So let's try. So now I'm clicking this. Okay, it's going to the other page. Okay, this is nice. And I'm clicking this here. It's going to the detail page. All right. So what we need now, we have implemented most of the actions that we've done on our card. We have achieved them. We are able to move to the product detail page by clicking the card, then clicking the buy now takes us to the other page where I clicking this takes us to the our card. So and then we have to oh, <clears throat> update our card. Now, what we'll do later on is to add icon. Add icon. But first, we need to come to the index. Let's come to our index here, and let's look for the card. Yes, this is the card. So what I need is to give you an ID of a card. So in our JS, we can pick it. And instead of button here, let's look at bootstrap. Let's just leave the card yet. <clears throat> Go to get bootstrap. And uh, we'll be looking at um, something to we'll add there. Look at components and then we look at badge. Look at badge. Okay, this is exactly what I want us to look at. All right, this is what I want us to create here instead of just a, a button. Inside the button. So let's give this an ID and say cut and. And we remove the four. Okay, let's leave the four yet so that we can look at how it looks. 
Mm -hmm. We have uh, four items here. I think it would be nice. Uh, we just this should be just an icon, a cat icon. We'll, we'll update it as we progress to so make it just an icon. Then let me see. We can just remove the button at the moment. And instead of four here, our cat count. Now we come to the product JS. We have another item called cat items. It was, I think, um, empty array. Now let's say cat count. Cat count is equal to zero. It's a number. Now when we are adding to cat, yeah, do we add to cat yeah, here? What we do now is a cat count. Plus, plus, we increase it by one. Afterward, we document dot get element by ID, and then we bring in the ID of the item, and then we say the inner test. Uh, inner test is equals at count. Okay, have an underscore, and then let's come here. In JavaScript, when you declare a variable without using const and let, it's actually it's a global variable. So if you see two variable I'm declaring here, I didn't use const or let to create them, so they're global variable. We can assess them everywhere in our project. Now, this is what we have done now. So let's just look at what we have on the screen. Our cart is almost like it's not existing. But then let's click Add to Cart. You see iPhone 13, and then you see that our cart has one now. You see what I'm seeing? Add to Cart. It adds to Cart, and still go to the product detail page. That is an error. Uh, I think the event propagation isn't working as expected. What do we have? We have stopped immediate propagation. Let's try to comment this first. Okay. Uh, what I'm looking at now is um, we do that stop immediate propagation here too. We do that here. So if it does stop immediate propagation, okay. So let's go back again. Then. I don't know why I'm leaving this. It's not necessary. Uh, where is the alert? Oh, this is it. So comment this. We don't need it anymore. Add to cart. Now you see our cart has increased. We are still on the same page. If you click it again, it's increasing. You click again, it's increasing. So we have implemented our auto card, but then we need to make this a button, an icon button. So that, um, let's look at how we have it in the page we are following in our design. Let's come and say in our junior here. Our card is actually what we do. If I come, then 
I click on an item and then I click add to cart. I say yes. Continue shopping. Yeah, I've, I've added it to cart. So this is what we want. We display an icon like this, and then we we'll do our uh, we we'll style our our cards to look closely like this. But then we we'll do it when we have added the icon. So let's go to Bootstrap now and look at how do we add Bootstrap icon. Let's come again to. for where we can do that just a moment let's just add a um, strap icon okay So I'm just looking for the link that will help us out here. Yeah. CDN. So we go to our index page and we drop the link to the icon. Okay, then we can see the icon by calling the icon name. Like in this case, if we come to our, let's look at the cart. Let's uh, come back to our button. Let's remove, let's see if this works. Let's see how it colors. The one we need now is um, in this, we have Okay. Then we have a cut here. So let's see how it looks. All right, this is how our cart look currently. We have one, two, and we look. We are going to look for the icon. We look for the icon that will represent our cart. So let's search for cards here. And we see different cards we are seeing here. So let's pick this. So this is what we are looking for, BIBI card. So we update this. Now let's try to add this in between the icons. And this work, I don't know. So let's experiment. Come back to our page and look at what we see. Okay, we have, uh, so we have one. The icon is not showing.
what I will do to just to be sure I have this icon and let me copy the icon again. And place it on the body. So let's be sure that the icon is even project already. Don't have the icon showing anything. Okay. Let me get, go back here. I'm going to make adjustment. I just want to display our cards. I don't know our I don't know why it's not showing yet. Is this anyway? So this I'm oh this is not where I'm going. I'm going to add to cards. Where did I have? Okay, this is it. So here I want to change. I want to change it to in a HTML. Then I will use the back tick. Okay, so I add this here and give it space. So when you use the back tick like that, you can easily add HTML and uh, when you use in an HTML instead of just a string. Our cart is not, the icon is not working. And uh, we are not using, we are not building from Node here, so installing with this might be a problem. Except we have to make adjustment to our code. All right, let's look at how to the installation session, which is just this. Maybe we might have to use this uh, font um, or some icons. So let's pick one of these and see how if they this one they display. We are sure that um, our icon is linked already, so we can make better decision with the icons. Okay, we have our 
uh, font option icon showing you, which is so instead of so f a cat, let's see, we have cat here. So this is what we should be having there f a cat, and um, so we have this. Let's search for the icon font uh, for an option icon for you know what they call it. So once you bring in the cat icon, just looking for the name they call it. All right, this is it. I think it's fine. It's like uh, this is not working. FA solid, FA. Okay, let me get away with this solid. I don't know. Fast. Really want us to fix this cat something before we close for the day. But looking for the icon is okay. I think um, I'm not looking for the one that has plus. So what do we do? This one is just suitable for the button. Let's see if this was in the button. Let's check the button. This is suitable in the button. Looking 
for another one. Okay, I've seen the one. This is the same one we used before. That wasn't shown. Okay, we have it here now. Okay, so let's try again with the uh, in HTML. Let's try again on this page and look up here. And if you look at our button, you see that it's already uh, not aligning properly again because of the increase in length. So all we can do is uh, to, okay, we now have our cart item, our cart showing there. Yeah, what we need to do now is to style this so that it displays uh, differently. So let's see if we get this, if it, we can get something out of this. We stopping from this point. Uh, we'll make the adjustments tomorrow. So what this we can align this to go to the top. We can. Uh, this is the day. So if we come and say margin top, margin top is minus ten pixels. It's going to shift. Uh, it's going to shift a little bit up. So if we hit something here, is this shifting? Let's see, we'll get it out of here. So minus, let's use a number more reasonable so that we can. All right, guys, we'll stop here today and um, we'll continue in our designs and implementation tomorrow. If you have any, any question, you hit me and um, we'll get it answered if possible, or we'll discuss that the next morning. Let me get some. Okay, so my, my question is just that. Uh, Adding of pull dot, that is just my challenge right now. Yeah, thank so thank you, I Jason, you are posting, as we discussed earlier. So I will look at it, that's where the problem is coming from. Okay, sir. All right, guys, bye for now. See, we meet again tomorrow. Okay, so just help us upload this one. Thank you. Okay. Okay.